an apple a day keeps the doctor away? No! 10 apples a day keeps the doctor away. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelvin. Today we are going to talk about fiber. First, we're going to go through why is fiber important? How much fiber should we have? And where do I get my fiber from? So let us get started. Fun fact, do you know that fiber is mostly made up of carbohydrates? And unlike the usual carbohydrates that we have from our bread, rice, it cannot be digested by our body. Fiber can only be found in plant sources of food, like fruits and vegetables. They are not present in milk, meat or eggs. So why is fiber important? Well, we know that fiber helps us to have a smoother and prettier poop. But besides that, do you know what fiber can help us with? Well, I know that a lack of fiber has many consequences, like increasing risk of obesity, diabetes, heart diseases, and even cancer. Fiber, in fact, slows down the conversion of carbohydrates into sugar, helping in controlling our blood sugar levels, as well as increasing our sensitivity to insulin. High fiber diet reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. According to the US FDA, having more fiber also may reduce the risk of heart diseases. Fiber affects the liver's production of cholesterol, helping to lower circulating cholesterol in the blood. For those who have missed my video on Save Your Liver's Health, you can check it out on the link on top or I'll put in the description below. Our liver actually handles 80% of our cholesterol, which means if we have an unhealthy liver, we will have an increased risk of heart diseases too. Now back to the topic of fiber. Having lowered blood cholesterol levels with a high fiber diet will decrease the risk of heart diseases. Fiber decreases the risk of colon cancer. With toxin causing agents which can be found in our food coming in contact with the walls of our colon, this increases the risk of our cells in our colon turning cancerous. But when bacteria in our intestines break down fiber, a substance called butyrate is produced that inhibits the growth of cancer cells. There was a study done in Europe showing that having an average of 35 grams of fiber compared to those who consume only 15 grams of fiber daily had a 25% lower risk of developing colon cancer. Even for those who do not co consume fiber on a daily basis, they had a 40% reduction in the risk of colon cancer just by increasing 50% more fiber daily. After knowing the importance of fiber, so how much fiber do we require daily? Well, for women, they require roughly 25 grams of fiber a day. A man requires 30 grams to 35 grams of fiber daily. So how do we know how much fiber we are taking in? I believe we have heard of the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The fiber content of an apple is roughly 2.5 grams to 4 grams of fiber, depending on the size of it and if you have removed the skin or not. More accurately, is saying 10 apples a day keeps the doctor away. But after eating 3 apples, I believe majority of us will have no appetite to have any more food, right? Well, there are two important fibers that we need to know. Soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber can be found in mostly whole wheat food, seeds, and bran. 
Insoluble fiber helps out with our bowels by forming a mass that moves through our digestive system and is key to preventing digestive issues like diarrhea and constipation. Soluble fiber, on the other hand, is mainly found in fruits, vegetables, and psyllium husks. It becomes a gel-like substance in water, helping stools to move smoothly through the intestines. We know that eating 10 apples a day is rather difficult, right? Well, alternatively, we can take a look at the table over here. We can consume psyllium husk instead. 100 grams of psyllium husk contains 71 grams of dietary fiber. Not just that, it contains soluble fiber that helps to create a protection around our intestines, preventing excess absorption of fats and cholesterol. It also helps with weight control too. Insoluble fiber, on the other hand, found in psyllium husk, enables our intestines to flush out all the toxins naturally ensuring that we have a cleaner and healthier digestive system. And it helps our skin to look more radiant too, which can be found in what I'm consuming, soy green and fiber talk. Now let us take a look at soy green. Soy green contains soy, psyllium husk, and 10 different fruits and vegetables like banana, broccoli, spinach, snow pea, leaf lettuce, asparagus, kale, and many others. I'll put a picture of soy green over here. There are two different types of flavors, soy green banana caramel and soy green original. The original tastes a bit like cappuccino and is delicious. Well, both of them are delicious to me and convenient at the same time, as I do not need to cut, wash, and cook my vegetables. This is super accessible too. Well, with just a sachet in my bag and my bottle, I'm able to have my daily required fiber with just two packets a day. Normally, I would take um, my soy green in the morning for my convenience of not waking up early in the morning to have my breakfast. And sometimes after work, which I might need to replace my dinner with. Before a fatty meal, I will always take in Fiber Talk. Fiber Talk helps me to create a protection around my intestine, not absorbing excessive cholesterol, fats, and calories. Well, Fiber Talk contains psyllium husk, banana, and orange. To conclude, having an adequate amount of fiber not only prevents us from constipation, but we can reduce risks of diseases like obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart diseases, and cancer. An apple a day does not keep the doctor away. Instead, 10 apples a day keeps the doctor away. Instead of eating 10 apples, we can consume more of psyllium husk, which contains both soluble and insoluble fiber. I hope through my sharing today, you understand more about fiber and how it benefits our health. Like always, if you have enjoyed my video, do help me smash the like button below and subscribe if you have not. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.